All right, um, this is my presentation of MoCAN NFL flag round two. And this is my second year with them. And I was really uh, thankful that they brought me back for the second time. Uh, I really wanted to come back and see what it was about and expand my leadership roles and take on more responsibility. And I think I did that this year. And um, uh, background of the organization, it's a youth flag football organization that is run and hosted by the NFL and kids from uh, third grade to eighth grade, boys and girls can sign up and it runs year round as well. Um, that is me last season with my team. And uh, this is me this season helping assistant coach with uh, one of the teams uh, this year. It happens to be the same uh, jerseys, which was pretty funny, I thought. And the roles and duties I uh, had was still setting up the event and putting cones and setting up the fields, um, assisting in sales and merchandise and answering questions. And uh, what my new roles this year were, were cutting the flag belts of every team and like um, making sure everybody got their uniforms and writing it down and had to make orders just uh, if everyone, like if someone forgot a pair of shorts or they didn't come in the package, I'd uh, report it to Ian and then um, we get a new order in. And uh, I, what I did this year that was new that I really enjoyed and that even got me an opportunity outside of NFL flag was refing the refing all the flag football games are needed and I refed almost every single week all day and um, that provided me a new opportunity within the organization to showcase that I could ref these games and um, they can trust me as leading like the head ref and I was a head ref during the Super Bowl and it even got me an opportunity at Logan University that I really enjoyed doing uh, over the summer too and um, the goals for this internship was to still have fun, but the new goal that I wanted to do is take leadership and establish myself for the NFL and be like a familiar face with the coaches and even some of the kids that are returning and uh that some of them already knew my name since they did it um the last year when I was there with them too. So that was pretty cool. And um I think my goals were achieved. Uh NFL was one of the best times I've had too. Uh I still make great connections with my bosses, Ian and Dakota. I, I like teaching kids about like football and uh, like lessons that come with football. And sometimes I can even do that as a ref when they ask me like, what about that call? And like some of them like get sore losers. And at the end of the game, I tell them to all keep their heads up. And um, I learned a lot more about the NFL flag program and I took on way more leadership my second time around. Uh, I had roles and I, like I said earlier, I was a familiar face to some coaches previously. And that's what, I really wanted to do. Um, I wanted to initiate that I was a familiar face within the organization so I could represent NFL flag like it should be. And my biggest takeaways were uh, show up on time still and take on more roles and effort is required to move up. And I wanted to take action this year with uh, some new interns coming in. I just wanted to make sure like set a good example. So instead of like asking Ian what to do, I just did everything because I already knew what to do. And uh, I think that helped a lot showing my leadership skills uh, within the organization and the growth I've had. I was more confident in myself the second time around. I'm not afraid to mess up because I've already been there before. So a lot of stress was off my shoulders because I kind of knew what to expect and do. And um, I gained more knowledge and I was way less afraid reffing like the first week of reffing I was super nervous but the second week and the rest of the weeks I wasn't nervous at all. Um, it didn't really bother me. And what I wanted to tell my younger self is always be on time, follow your gut, and don't wait, just do it. Uh, just do the things that you need to do quick and in order to make them easier in the long run. Uh, advice for students, I would do something you generally enjoy for a career. Uh, listen to Dr. B, don't apply for an internship just to get it out of the way. And be a leader when you're really not sure what to do. Just set a good example for everyone involved. I thought that was something I did this year and I do in all my jobs that I work for. Just make, just act like you know what you're talking about. And then a, a lot of people will just follow you and uh, just be in this, have the same type of energy you have. So, and advice for current students, uh, keep doing something you enjoy. Keep in touch with previous internship employees and bosses. It's always good to have connections within other industries. No matter if you're in it or not. And, um, for the program, it's a really good program. Good opportunities come with it. I Like I was saying, I got a 
refing gig for this year and uh this coming year in 2023 at Logan State University. I I ref the flag football tournaments there. And uh the conclusion, Mocan NFL flag was an awesome experience the second time around. I love working there. I really enjoyed refing and they trusted me to do so. I took on way more responsibility and I hope to be back there again. And I think I'm gonna be back there again. It's a very fun program. I'm looking forward to still uh work with them.